A uh, number seven, we're verifying that, that this is the solution to the system. And so you want to start by writing the solution out. X equals one e to the negative five t, e to the negative five t. And then y is two e to the negative five t. When I substitute into the system, I'll need my derivative terms also. So let me do my, uh, my dx dt, or just my x prime, bringing down the negative 5. I get negative 5 e to the negative 5 t. And then for my y prime, I'm going to bring down the negative 5 to get 10 e to the negative 5 t. And so my, my first equation, dx dt equals 3x minus 4y is going to give me, here's my dx dt, negative 5e to the negative 5t is equal to 3 times x, 3 times e to the negative 5t minus 4 times y. 4 times 2 e to the negative 5t. And here I'm going to simplify the right side to give me 3 e to the negative 5t minus 8 e to the negative 5t. And there we see that 3 take away 8 gives us negative 5 e to the negative 5t, which is equal to the negative 5 e to the negative 5t that I have on the left side. So that's good. And then if I check my second equation, dy dt is equal to 4x minus 7y, then dy dt is, is 10e to the negative 5t. That should be equal to 4 times x e to the negative 5t minus 7 times y, 2e to the negative 5t. And then simplifying on the right side, I have 4e to the negative 5t minus 14e to the negative 5t, which combines to give me a negative 10e to the negative 5t. And that's equal to the, uh-oh. That's not equal to 10 e to the negative 5 t. So maybe it, it isn't a solution. Let me double check my work. This was uh, x is e to the negative 5 t, 2, oh, yeah, 2 e to the negative 5 t. And taking the derivative, I should have brought the negative down. So this should have been negative 10 e to the negative 5 t which is my dy dt, and there it is, it does match up. So that was my mistake for not bringing the 10 down up here.